Matt Zames, and somebody we know about, former COO of JP Morgan. He's got a new job. He's going over to Cerberus. He's got a new job. So Zames was obviously talked about as potentially being a successor at, um, at Deutsche Bank, replacing Kryon. Uh, didn't get that seat. Apparently, that was partly because he wanted to stay in the U.S. But he's gone to Cerberus. And Cerberus obviously have a uh, position in Deutsche Bank already. They, they took a reasonably large position. So he's going to have some relationship with Deutsche despite not having taken the top job. Um, so, yeah, this is, I suppose, the latest change at the top. Um, you know, obviously, he... Uh, He's been sort of out there for a while since he left J.P. Morgan and has been talked about as being potentially ahead of another firm. But explain to me his job. I'm not sure I follow it because he's president of Cerberus, but there are two co-CEOs, including Steve Feinberg, the founder. So is, is, is it that much different for working from J for Jamie Dimon? Uh, well, I, I suppose it's different in as much as he's no longer working for Jamie Dimon and he's, uh, he's going to potentially do more deals and less, um, you know, less traditional investment banking stuff. Yeah, as you say, he has two co-CEOs, Frank Bruno and Steven Feinberg, um, but this is, you know, this is a senior job at, at, and, and it may be a different direction. He's a hedge fund manager by training, so this is, you know, he's done hedge funding, he's done investment banking, now he's doing private equity. I always want to think, like, did he turn down the Deutsche Bank job or did they decide yeah. against him? Because I'm sure he's like, whoo, dodge that bullet. Well, we give him <laughs> out in the story and say he wanted to stay in the U.S. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> sure. Yes. I don't know. It looks to me like the Deutsche <laughs> Bank job is a political. really hard job, a really hard job. But 